Not a bad place, Eivor. Not at all. Can I help you with anything? Sigurd wants your forge up and running as soon as possible. For that, we need supplies and riches. Ah, you mean to go a Viking then? Good, good. How I miss those days. Ransacking and pillaging. Blade singing and shield splintering. <laughs> I would ask you to join us, but you're the only blacksmith we have. We cannot afford your loss. Oh, it's no bother. Better I forge axes than swing them. My place is here, not pulling on the war of a river horse. <laughs> Though you do remind me, I've found a map among the bandits' rubbish, marked up with the locations of Saxon monk huts. Yes, bandits know as well as we do. Monasteries are full of riches and loot. Take the map with you, and put it to better use than they did. And listen all. For the good of our clan, it is time we go a Viking. Today we raid, but tomorrow we may build. At last! We will crack these Christian monasteries the like a row of hen's eggs! The Saxons know we are here, Doc. The monasteries will be well. <laughs> and nothing more than priests and prayers, I'd wager. Focus! 
need for Gunner. But if there is more, you should claim it. This was a good day and some fine work from all of you. We should return home and unload everything. Are you certain there aren't a few more gold nuggets squirreled away somewhere? My gut tells me no. Sail up! Thank you! So, Eivor, what's your Let count? I count. Dead. I have no need to count the kills. Number too many. Likely story, Wolfkist. Me? I killed 26, I think. Ah, there were barely a dozen when we arrived, Dark. No, no, you missed them. They attacked from the forest. So soon, and we good news, I hope. I think we have all we need. Ah, this is wonderful, Eivor. 
A forge bigger and harder than my old forge back in Fornberg. Come visit me any time. For weapons and gear, there is no man better than me. I will, Gunner. Have no doubt. Ah, the gods are smiling on us today, Eivor. I would like to see what you have in stock. Done for now. I'm off. Be well, friend. Until next we meet. Hytham, now that you and Bassam are settled, what will you do? We have work to do. Starting in the cities of England. London, Jorvik, Winchester. All three are infested by members of the same order to which Kyotve belonged. But their reach extends much further than this. Of all the lands on Earth, I believe England is the most overrun. Do they cause here the same turmoil Kyotve caused in Norway? Not just turmoil. They spread a plague of delusion, teaching men and women to abase and abuse themselves in exchange for power. You have strong feelings about this. Of course. This is the sole purpose of the Hidden Ones, to liberate the body and spirit of man from any unnatural shackles. But we have not operated in England for over four centuries. Since the fall of the Roman Empire, the Hidden Ones have not had a presence here. This absence has given the Order of the Ancients ample room to grow and thrive. Our task will not be an easy one. But with a bureau, Basim and I could begin our work. If you have the time and spare resources to build one, we would be most grateful. I will see what I can do. This will make a fine space for my work, Eivor. Thank you. Well, if your work benefits us, I will see that you keep it for as long as you live among us. I believe it will, for we have common cause against our enemy. They have dug their claws deep into England. Eradicate them where they are strongest, and the alliances you seek will be far easier to come by. In London, they now operate without restraint. If you were to eradicate them, the city would be in your debt. I will talk with Ranvi about your idea. Get her thoughts. Good. Yet, before you do, there is something else. A gift I wish to share. A gift? I cannot show you here. Will you walk with me? I will. Lead on. I hear a heaviness to your breathing, Hytham. Does your wound still trouble you? It does, I'm afraid. There is a pain in my chest for which I have no remedy. Rest easy, then. So long as your mind stays sharp, you will recover. Of course. Though I am reluctant to displease my mentor. You risk your health and your life to please Basim. That I do not understand. I should not expect you do. When we first arrived, I noted a shadow of suspicion in your eyes. A doubt. A wariness. Is that a question? No. Only an observation. Are you well enough to steer this boat? I am. Have no worry. It is only prolonged stresses that exhaust me. My energy runs low rather quickly. What is this gift you wish to give me? It will not come from me. It is a gift you must give yourself. More riddles. 
What fun you are. Let me say it another way. My gift is not for giving or taking. It is a way of living. Still no clearer. It is a thing better demonstrated than described. Then I'll wait. Forgive my jest. This gift we call a leap of faith. It is one of our Brotherhood's most sacred rites. It is not a tool we use against our enemies, but an act we embrace to strengthen our resolve. Like your meditation, it centers our minds, steadies our hands, and purges fear from our hearts. And more practically, it aids our movements, in flight or in stealth. You call it a leap, and we're climbing a rather steep hill. <laughs> there it is again. The shadow of a doubt. Nearly there. Our destination is there. I suspect you mean to throw me off this cliff. Is that it? Please tell me if I'm near the mark. And spoil the surprise? To perform the leap of faith, you must give yourself over to something greater. The gods? Yourself. Embrace the hope that death will not come before you are prepared to meet it. Believe this, and you will fear nothing. Our deaths are prefigured, weaved into the fabric of the world. To fear this would be a waste of worry and tears. Good. Then your mind is already attuned to my lesson. I will leap first. On my word, you must follow. Lean into your faith, into your strength, and take flight. You want me to jump from here? Yes. I would sooner grow wings and fly away. Thank you for the lesson, but... Wait! And watch! Hide them! Hide them! Pig-headed fool! Are you injured? You see! My faith grew stronger than my fear! And that loam cushioned your fall! Eivor! I have not seen this side of you before! Do not feed your fear! Conquer it! <sighs> I've seen my death in a vision. It was not here. Not today. Perfect fall. And how did it feel? You spoke true. It was madness and vigor and a perching of fear. A gift I give myself. I see that now. Thank you for showing me the way. Of course. And thank you, Eivor, for hearing me out. You called this leap of faith a sacred rite. All hidden ones practice this same ritual. As far as I know, it is a rite of initiation that dates back to just before the birth of the Christian Jesus. Are you hoping to initiate me? I might try if I believed you would join. But that is not my purpose in England. Basim and I are hunting larger prey. An order of ancients. Yes. You remember the medallion you took from Kyotve's body? That is their symbol. They are a plague, one we hope to purge from this world. Like us, they act in secret. But their aim is to rule the world, not free it from unnatural fetters. The desire to rule is not unique to this order. Sigurd and I want the same, a land to call our own, and the honor that comes with it. Do not compare yourself to such people. The order has no honor, no principles, no humanity. Yet they sit on a great many of England's thrones. If you seek to pacify England for the safety of your clan, then it may be in my interest to give you aid. I understand. You desire alliances. We seek to rid England of its deepening rot. Where these hopes meet, our cause does too. You may think this land ruled by harmless Jarls and bumbling Thanes. Yet look more closely, and you will find a deeper threat. The Order's invisible hand touches all. It shapes everything, instilling its poison into every la- Bassam has given me one task here. 
to locate and eliminate the Order of Ancients in England, in whatever dark corners they reside. If we work together towards this end, it will benefit us both. You will have greater influence over the kingdoms of England. And you will have more medallions to count. Exactly. You should begin in London. I have credible reports that the Order is working now to seize the city. I will speak with Randy about this. And while you are there, be on the lookout for our symbol. Centuries ago, the Hidden Ones had bureaus built around England. There were six, I believe. If you can find them, search them well for documents bearing the same symbol. It will greatly aid my studies. I will. Thank you, Hytham. For all of this. break their kingdoms into smaller territories called shires. Eivor! In here! What will you keep in this room? My finest weapon. For this room is yours. Here you may lay your head, hang your axe, or be alone with your thoughts. Do you like it? It suits me well, but I would be just as happy lodging with the raiders on the wharf. I need no special treatment. This is not special treatment. I want you here in the longhouse, close at hand. I may be the Jarl of this clan, but you and I lead together, as ever. So get acquainted with your room, and when you're ready, meet me at the stables. A letterbox for messages and requests. Bed better than many I have slept in, and a good place to recover. Hmm. Hmm. Not much, but it is mine. Living in the longhouse, I feel like a yard. Greetings! You're ready to ride at a moment's notice. Count on it, my friend. The path ahead is bright. With glory at its end. Farewell, Eivor. But why now? Dark, please. What was that about? Is Basim leaving us already? Sigurd means to leave as well. Is that true? We know the sons of Ragnar have camped in the north. It would do us well to pay them a visit, to strengthen our ties to this land. Is that where Basim has gone? Basim's motives are his own. Leave it at that. We have more pressing plans. I am riding to Lerichestershire, to a town called Repton. Eivor, I expect you to join me when you have finished here. I can come now. I only need a horse. Not yet. First speak with Randvi. She has more than one task for you here. Apart from growing this settlement, you must seek out alliances as well. 
We cannot pacify England with so few friends. Then I must join you, Sigurd, for I am a fitter companion on long roads. No, Dag. You belong here with the raiders, and you will act as Eivor commands. Ride in safety, brother. I will follow as soon as I can. Yes, and I will keep our raiders sharp. Do as Eivor commands. Is he testing me? He may be. Sigurd is a wise man. I would sooner take orders from a louse 